While bumblebees may have wings and don't necessarily need to jump all that much, the rest of our competitors, including the bumblebees as hosts, need to compete in event number three, the five meter hurdles, if they hope to claim a Marvel League Championship at the end of this tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods, here is the track. By the way, this video is made possible by Surfshark VPN. Stick around throughout this video to learn more about this leading VPN provider. All right, this one, five meters, an individual event. You see all of the hurdles that come at them. You must master every single one if you hope to cross the line as the winner and fall into that catch sand triumphant. Those sweepers are going to be having a lot to do over the course of today. Two teams have claimed gold. Snowy, Yellow, Swax, and Rapidly. In the lineup for this first run, Snowy is out in front. Swax holding second place there in lane number three, but loses it out to the Savage Speeders. The top two will advance. Snowy comes through. The captain of the Snowballs, 8-4-5-5. Rojo Dos. Yellow Eye, Sheet, and Quasar, two reserves in this one. And Yellow Eye chosen, listening to the fans, the Crazy Cat's Eyes did, because they were worried that Yellow Eye being dropped from Marvel 1 was unjust. And oh, they just barely make it through in this one. I guess they're trying to prove themselves. And just 16 thousandths of a second from Sheet of the Gliding Glaciers. Pink Panther, Ruzzy, Wespy, and Momo Momo. Momo Momo. Is trying to catch up on this bottom lane, has the lead now, and gets it. Ruzzy comes through in second place over Pinky Panther and Wespy. Clementon, Shock, Fero, captain of our gold medal winning team Plasma from last event in the steeplechase, and Glimmer from the Shining Swarm. And all the way wire to wire, Shining Swarm will take the win with Glimmer. Clementon comes through a little over a tenth of a second behind. And so, after four heats, there you see, ninth through sixteenth, based on time. Also want to give a shout out to one of our patrons, who says, happy 12th birthday, O Rangers fan, Logan Varnell. Yellow Eye, Momo Momo, Snowy, Clementon down on the bottom. Yellow Eye coming in second place here and will hold that spot, finishing behind the O Rangers. Eight point one six three. Ruzzy. Rapidly, Glimmer, and Sheet. Glimmer was fast out of the gate, but had trouble on the first hurdle and has fallen all the way back to last. Top lane, Ruzzy is gonna take it. And Savage Speeders, look at him careening side to side, rapidly bounding off of the edges of the lane. That was not enough to stop that Marvel from advancing to the final from semi-final B, so here. 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. This one not a top 10 for the Bumblebees. Snowballs are going to be disappointed just to miss out on the final. But four marbles have a chance to capture gold. Will it be the Raspberry Racers? They are yet to stand on the podium. It's rapidly Clementon, Yellow Eye, and Ruzzy. Out of the gate they come, rapidly. To the lead on the first. Clementon in second place. Ruzzy now on the bottom lane, comes through and makes it. What a come from behind win for gold. Mastering the last hurdle. My goodness. 28 thousandths of a second. Ruzzy, the reserve, the only reserve in the finale. Wow, and Yellow Eye unable. To stand on the podium, you have to be questioning the coach's decision there. If you just feel bad for Yellow Eye, I don't know. But that's not the first time that we have heard controversy coming from the coaching decisions in Crazy Cat's Eyes, I'm sure. It won't be the last either. 
Ruzzi with the gold, rapidly the silver, and Clementon with the bronze. Savage Speeders got silver back in the first event, the Honeycomb Team Pursuit. So they now join the Crazy Cat's Eyes as the only team to medal twice. Appropriately, they jump up behind the Cats, three points behind into second place in the overall standings. A healthy jump for Raspberry Racers, up nine into third. Plasma drops, as do Rojo Rollers. Rangers up five. Our hosts, the Bumblebees, fall three down to 11th. And it's the Thunderbolts at the tail of the field with a lot of work to do. Our front runners can feel safe at the top of the standings, and you can feel safe for a different reason. You can use Surfshark VPN when browsing on the internet. With Surfshark VPN, you can unlock web pages that are blocked in your region or unlock your favorite series that may not be available otherwise. You can also add an element of safety to your browsing. The landscape of the internet changes all the time. So you need somebody in your corner to roll with those punches, to roll with those waves, and help you stay as safe and as secure as possible when you are online. And Surfshark VPN does just that. You can learn more on the links in our description to this video below, but they are a proud sponsor of Yella's Marble Runs and the Marble League. Check out Surfshark VPN. Next up, block pushing, a feat of strength and teamwork. And we hope that you join our team for the next event. We'll see you then, everyone.